Good day, folks. Welcome to another video. Welcome to Andrew's Life. What you guys are looking at is a property that is for sale in Lewisburg, Tennessee. Now, for starters, if you want to see a video of Lewisburg, Tennessee, I had that. I had those videos on this channel. So, just type in Lewisburg, Tennessee on this channel. Now, I could be wrong, but I got a feeling that this property is gonna actually be outside of the city limits of Lewisburg. I'm not sure. I can't tell by the street name or whether it's in or outside the city limits. But if you want to live in Tennessee and you want to be within an hour of Nashville, this property might be for you. It's a trailer. Two bedroom, one bath, 800 square feet. You got one. You got about an acre and a half of land for one hundred and ten thousand dollars. One hundred, yeah, one hundred nine thousand dollars. And I got a feeling this property is gonna probably be sold pretty soon here, because it's Tennessee. It's mid Tennessee at that. In mid Tennessee, it's got some of the most expensive real estate in the state of, in, in the state of Tennessee, because it's in the proximity of Nashville. And for those of you that don't know, because maybe this is your first video watching on this channel, I am familiar with Tennessee. I used to live in Lewisburg. I lived in Lewisburg, uh, Hendersonville, and Nashville. So I know a thing or two about Mid-Tennessee. But let's look at this property. Now, I do watch quite a few off-grid channels of people buying raw land in Tennessee and then they build their structure and all that type of good stuff. Now, obviously, if you want to go that route, you'll probably be able to, to get a little bit more bang for the buck than you will here. But for those of you that don't have the ability to buy raw land and to develop it into a area that you can live on, and you know, this might be your this might be your best bet right here, or this might be a decent alternative for those of you that want to own some land. You don't want to be in the city, but at the same time, you want to be not too far from the city. And and Lewisburg is an hour outside of Nashville. It's an hour south of Nashville, going on sixty five. So let's take a look at this property. Looks like you get a little uh, storage building right here, or it looks like you could use it as a garage. Then you got a little storage building on the side. And it comes on, like I said, about an acre and a half. Okay. Got a little garage. You got your lot, which a lot of your land looks like is gravel, which is Depending on what you're looking to do, that may not be a bad thing. If you're looking to plant a bunch of, if you got a green thumb and you're looking to do a bunch of planting, you can always, you know, you can always plant a ton of grass and, you know, do your thing. Okay, you do have plenty of uh, storage here. For vehicles. Looks like they got sections of the property fenced off for animals. It's more of the trailer. Again, I wish the agent would have took more pics, but it is what it is. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and Google this. I'm going to write it down first of all. B37 Jack Pickle Road. We're going to look this up. Here.
see what it looks like. Oh, well, man. Okay, we're not doing too good here. I was hoping I would be able to get a Google view of this area, but I can't. So, my apologies, people. I guess we'll have to go back to the picture. I can't get a Google uh, view of that area. Let's see here. Yeah, nope, not today. But anyhow, for anyone that's not familiar with Tennessee, you're not familiar with the cost of real estate in Tennessee, Tennessee is, in my opinion, ungodly expensive. It may not be as expensive as, let's say, the West Coast or the, or the coastal lines of, of the Northeast and, and Florida, but Tennessee is pretty expensive, <clears throat> especially if you want to be within an hour in Nashville. And this property is going to most likely be within an hour in Nashville because Lewisburg is, is within an hour in Nashville. So if you're looking to live in mid-Tennessee and maybe you don't have the ability to purchase raw land and to develop it, following all the county codes for sept for rail and septic and structure and all that. This property might be a this property might be a good alternative for you. I mean you got over an acre they got about an acre and a half of land. They're only asking $110,000, which for this region of Tennessee is actually much lower than average. So you got a 1994 14 by 48 mobile home. Y'all can be this for yourself. Uh, see, you got propane heat. I guess you got a mixture of propane and electric for your heat. Let's see what kind of water source you guys got. Already, you're going to, most likely this property is outside the city limits because for sewage, you got septic. Now you're close enough to the city limits to where you do got regular city water. So since you're on a, so since you're on a septic, you're going to most likely be outside the city limits, which for many of you, that would be a good thing. So... And just to give you guys an idea of how expensive it is to live in Tennessee, I'm going to give you guys a reality check. So for those of you guys that might come from, I don't know, you might come from Alabama or Mississippi or South Georgia, and you're looking at this property and you're like, man, this is too much money, fam. I can't do it. I can't do it. You know what? I'm with you. However, for those people that are coming from other places that are much more expensive, like let's say the Northeast or Florida or, you know, parts of the West Coast, this is a bargain. But for those of you in the middle, I'm going to give you guys a reality check of what it costs to live in mid-Tennessee. Now, we're going to do Lewisburg too. We're going to do Lewisburg. And here, now I got the prices from lowest to highest. I got single family homes, Lewisburg, Tennessee. Which, bear in mind, Lewisburg is an hour south of Nashville. But here, here's your prices. Now, here's a trailer. Here's a property that I just got done showing you guys. Now, $155,000 will buy you this property right here. It's 1.2 acres. Now, the house itself. As you guys will read, this house does need extensive repair. So this house is most likely going to be a complete gut job at best. So this house is not even close to being habitable. But yet they're asking $155,000. It just came on the market a day ago. 
Here's a house for 165 900 You might as well say 166 grand. It only has a quarter of an acre. The house is only 840 square feet. And it's been on the market for 65 days. And even when you get into the $200,000 range in Lewisburg, uh, this house, $215,000, you might as well say, you only get a, you only get a third of an acre. The house is only a little over 1,200 square feet, three room, one bath, 214,900, you might as well say 215 grand. And this little structure right here. Uh, a quarter of an acre, not even 700 square feet for the home. It's only a one bedroom, one bath, and they want 220 grand. So that's just a little reality check for how much you can expect to pay for housing if you want to live in Tennessee, especially in, in mid-Tennessee. Anywhere within an hour of Nashville, you're going to pay. You're going to be paying out the nose, in my opinion. So here's a little reality check. So, if you're wanting to live in Mid Tennessee, and you don't have the means to buy wild land and do and, and and to develop it on your own, following all the proper codes, then this property right here that I just showed you might be your best bet. I thought I would go ahead and make this video because I know there's a bunch of people out here that are still wanting to move to Tennessee, especially Mid Tennessee, because. Is in close proximity to Nashville. So, uh, thanks for joining me in, th uh, can't even talk. Thanks for joining me on this video. I'm pretty sure one of you guys out here will grab this property up because it's such a low price for this.